Have you ever felt like you're not making any progress in your weight loss or your fitness journey? Well, I had that moment myself, and it took me looking back at my old video to see and understand how much progress I truly made. Let's look at that video together. Just did a mile on this track and field. It took us one hour and 23 minutes. You may be asking yourself, why did it take one hour and 23 minutes? Why? Hey, why? I was bed bound for a whole year. Well, one day shy of a year. Oh, that's why. I fought hard to not make it a year. And on that 364th day, I stood up and was no longer bed bound. I am getting sidetracked, so I do apologize. We're going to be talking about how improvement is important. It doesn't matter if you improve by an inch or a mile. Winning's winning. Yeah! I will be talking about my journey from being bedbound to where I am currently in my next video. So keep an eye out for that. But back into accomplishing goals, making strides, getting better. It's really, really, really a topic that I would like to talk about. If you're anything like me, you set unachievable goals or goals that are just so far out there that they should take longer than what you expect them to be. When you don't hit those goals, you end up saying things like, I'm a failure, I'm a loser, I don't do good, and I should never set goals type of thing. I know I have done this many times in the past. I can't be the only one who's ever done this. I'm going to say something in the video that just goes right along with what we are talking about and... It's not going to make sense right now, but it will. Uh, as I say. Uh, 6, 36, 7. 6 minutes, 37 seconds on my first lap. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This mile video that I'm showing you right now was not originally going to be a mile video. I just felt so calm and so relaxed from my first lap that I decided to go for two. Mind you, my personal record for walking a single lap was one lap. Like, I haven't been able to do two laps, let alone like one and a half. Literally, in the middle of this was the choice to see if I could get a better mile time than my previous times. For instance, this next clip is the second time I did the mile. All right, so I just got done with my mile. 50 minutes, 44 seconds. That was an over half an hour improvement. My mile times remind me of a willow tree. Let me explain. The weeping willow tree can grow extremely fast. That's what happened to my mile time at the beginning. Going from 1 hour 23 minutes to 50. That's just a ginormous improvement. The third time I documented my mile, I took a really long break from doing it because of all the backlash, because of all the negativity, because of my times of the mile. I was personally happy with my mile time, mainly because I finished it. I couldn't tell you the last time I did a mile and then I get compared to other people's mile time who has been doing the mile for so long who has you know trained for it I got caught up in the comments and it just ruined me for a while going down this last straightaway of the second lap it just got me thinking of how much barriers I put in front of myself by telling myself I can't do this because I was bed bound I can't do this because I'm over 400 pounds and I can't do this because of this or that. I like what I said in this video. Coming up on uh, lap two non-stop. How you feeling? Feeling good. Just got to push through the mental block that I'm giving myself saying I can only do 200 yards, 300 yards max. And now we're coming up on 800 yards. Actually, the moment I sat down, it's like better. I don't know why. We just did two laps in a row. Before the longest I did was one lap and I was pushing it and I had a side cramp and we had to stop the whole recording. We're right back at it. I took my one minute break and let's see what my mile time is now. So we're gonna take it one lap at a time from here. So we only got two more laps. Say hi to my beautiful wife, the camera lady. Hi. She's walking at a snail pace compared to what I do. I'm. I mean, she's walking at a snail pace because of me. <laughs> she does a mile fast. I'm walking backwards most of the time. I really love my wife. She is very supportive and is also participating in this weight loss and fitness journey. She is down 60 pounds and is a lower weight than she was when she was in college. To show support for her as well, I want you guys to just spam the comment section with Go Mrs. Native Saiyan!
also, another thing I said earlier was, you know, I have to remind myself that I can do things. Taking down those barriers of me telling myself, I can't do this because I was bedbound. It reminds me of a story that I want to share. It's a viral video from a while ago. A guy drawing half circles to trap an ant and it keeps turning around when he sees the marking and tries to find a different way around it. Then the guy draws a full circle around the entire ant. It can't find a way out. And as it's backing up, it crosses over the line. After the ant crosses over the line on accident, the guy continues to try to draw a circle around it. But now the ant knows that the circle is harmless. He over-exaggerated what will happen if he crosses the line. Isn't that what we do, though? We have these barriers in our mind. They're really harmless. They're like nothing. If we just get past them, the barriers can't hold us back anymore. Control the breathing. Control the breathing. By the end of the third lap is when I started hurting. My knees are aching and shins are splinting. I had to like take a really long rest. As you see, it just pain just from standing up. Ugh. Sorry, watching it just makes me feel that pain again. Stay hydrated. I pushed through the pain, mainly because I wanted to get a new PR on my mile time. It would have been under 30 minutes, but I took like a five minute, four minute break on that chair because my shins were hurting and throbbing. I was so sore for the next couple of days that I took it extremely easy. Coming up right about now, the video camera died, so now we're on a cell phone. I am very excited about my time though as we're coming up to the finish line. I'm on my last straightaway. I'm so excited about this because so much stuff happened. You know, between the camera dying, between me just shins are hurting, um, not even planning on doing the mile. I'm just so happy with my time. And the end of one mile. How do you feel? Brown? Yellow? Brown and yellow, brown and yellow, brown and yellow. <laughs> Is that how the sun goes? Um, it's black and yellow, but you know, I guess we could go brown and yellow. I don't know why I feel like hyping myself up for doing another lap, but I'm like, the mile's over. Like, you're done. Like, do you remember the first time we did the mile? Every hundred yards was like, ah, ah. but like, I'm already like hyped up to do another lap and it's just insane.